Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of two 2022 Talaros. One is the 20A model with the pop top and the other one is the 20L non pop top. They both have the reliable lithium battery system and they are both on the Ram 3500 ProMaster chassis. So let's get started. So let's start with the 20A. Right here at the sliding door entrance, there's this really nice screen door, which I really love. There's the solar controllers right here and the main disconnect, along with two 110 outlets. Nice grab handle above. There's the BM Pro and the Truma system. Let's check out the interior. And this is what it looks like inside. Now this model has this bench seating located behind the cockpit area and it does have two over-the-shoulder seat belts. It's got this nice fold-out table in front and right above these seats is this TV which does swivel out. However, keep in mind you can't really watch it while you're sitting in this bench seating area and although it swivels, you don't really have a good view of it if you're laying in bed. So keep that in mind. Right on the side of it is a nice cabinet. Now this model has the pop top and this is what it looks like when it's popped up. There are some USB ports located right here, so those that are up there in the pop top area can easily charge their items. Let's check out this kitchen area. So it seems to be all in one place. So there's this nice cabinet above, microwave. Check out all this counter space, covered sink. Power port with two 110s and two USB ports. Covered two burner cooktop. Nice refrigerator below. Good sized freezer that does shut nicely. And you've got three drawers. Directly across, you've got a little wardrobe area with a hanging rod. And below that, there's a storage area, which you can probably use as your kitchen pantry or for whatever you need. And there are two 110 outlets below. Let's check out the bathroom. Now the bathroom is a little on the small side. Let me show you what it looks like when I'm in it. So you don't have too much room in here. And this is a cassette toilet. There's this roll out retractable door. One of the pluses to this is that you don't need a shower curtain. This one has a nice sized vanity. Flip down sink. Okay, let's move to the rear. Now back here, you've got two upper cabinets that flow right into each other on the passenger side and again on the driver's side. So there's a good amount of storage up above.
this is the bed area. Now let me show you. So you really don't want to use this as a twin bed. So this one you'd want to make into a full size bed by pulling this out. And it looks like it would be between a full and a queen size once it's all made up. So once you pull this out, you then put this cushion down on top and that makes your bed. Now below this cushion area on the passenger side, there's some additional storage. A little shallow, but still some storage. Some more storage below that, a couple of drawers, and some cabinets that open this way. On the driver's side is the storage for the ladder for the pop top area. These doors here are not storage. It contains your electrical and breaker box. This side back here has additional storage, which I'll show you when we get to the exterior. So this is what the rear of the coach looks like. Now up above, you can see that the AC unit has been positioned towards the end of the coach. And that's so that it accommodates the pop top area. And on that pop top area, there is a 190 watt solar panel. Let's check out this storage, nice little garage area. And that can be accessed when these back doors are closed and you can access it from the interior that way. Along the side here, you have a 12 volt, two 110s, water pump, light switches, and a spray port area. So let's check out the 20L model. Right here at the sliding door entrance, there's this nice sliding screen door, which I love. Here are the solar controllers and the main disconnect along with two 110 outlets. Above, there's the BM Pro and the Truma. Let's check out the interior. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so this model has mm. this nice pull out tabletop and the passenger seat up front here swivels around so you can use this to eat or work and it stores away nicely. And there are two USB ports below and two 110 outlets, so you can easily charge anything that you're using, such as your laptop or iPad or phone. Down below here, there are two drawers. Let's check out the kitchen area. Good amount of counter space. Nice covered sink. Covered two burner cooktop. Pull up power bar with two USB ports and two 110 outlets. Below is the microwave and this one is convection. Right on the side is the refrigerator. Now this one has a freezer with a floppy door. There's also some drawers below, nice big long one, and a smaller one beneath. Let's check out the upper cabinets. So right above the kitchen counter, there's these two cabinets and they open up into each other. Moving to the rear, still on the driver's side, there are two more cabinets. 
again opens up into each other so you can store some nice long items moving to the passenger side another couple of cabinets that open up into each other and a smaller one with your cable two antenna outlets two usb ports and an hdmi port On the passenger side, you have a swivel out TV. Now this works nicely when you're laying back here in the bed area. It also swivels this way. So if you're sitting in the passenger seat, which can swivel around, you can also watch TV from there. Okay, so this model has two twin beds that also converts into a big bed. Good amount of space. Nice and wide and long. One of the features that I also love is that there's this adjustable backrest so you can lay it down or you can put it up. On the passenger side here there's some storage and it's actually a pretty good amount of storage. Now while I'm in here I'm going to show you that these are the pedestal tabletops and they do go right in each of those areas down there and this is also how you would make the bed. So you would pull out three of these bars and then you would set each tabletop on top of those bars and then add the cushions on top so it's a bit more of a challenge to make the bed, but it's still doable. Now on the driver's side, there are two seat belts. They are not over the shoulder, they're just lap belts. So you can travel with passengers. It comes with this cushion with integrated cup holders. And there are two 110 outlets located right beside it. and two USB ports back here. Let's check out the bathroom. So the bathroom is located in the rear and it's actually a good size. It's one of the bigger sizes for class B models. So this one has a pull down sink and it's a very large sink. Good sized vanity with a shelf. The toilet in here is not a cassette toilet. It actually goes to a black tank. There's a wardrobe in here with a hanging rod. And two really good sized drawers below. Now this is a bigger shower area. However, you do need a shower curtain so that you protect the cabinetry. And these are pocket doors. And same for the side. So let's check out the rear of the coach. Now the this model does not have the pop top, so the AC unit is located in the middle on the roof. And there's a 190 watt solar panel on top towards the end of the coach. Here is the storage for the ladder to access that roof area. And down below, there's two 110 outlets, a 12 volt water pump switch, light switch, and a spray port. Below that, there's a small garage space. So I hope you enjoyed touring these two 2022 Talaros model 20A and 20L. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some upcoming videos. Bye for now.